Hey guys, this is a short revision of the concepts we learned in our tools complement episode. We already solved the problem of adding 1 to a number without using the plus operator. And here we will try to subtract 1 from a number a without doing a minus 1. This is just a conceptual question, so I want you to solve this problem using the concepts of 2's complement and 1's complement, which we had learned in a previous episode. The link to that episode is provided in the description below and you can also find it in the top right corner of your screen. Okay, please pause this video now and start coding. If you remember, 2's complement of a number a, that is minus a, is 1's complement of a plus 1 that is inversion of a plus 1. Okay, let's represent minus a by b. Now what's 2's complement of b? 2's complement of b that is minus b is equal to inversion of b plus 1. Now from basic algebra we can bring the 1 to the left hand side then we have minus b minus 1 equal to inversion of b. Okay, now we replace b with minus a here. Then what do we have? We have minus b minus 1 equal to inversion of minus a. Again, replacing b here with minus a as well, we have minus of minus a minus 1 equal to inversion of minus a. Now, minus into minus is nullified to plus. So we have a minus 1 equal to inversion of minus a. Did you get it? So if we do inversion of minus a, it is equivalent to subtracting 1 from a. This solves our problem. But now going further ahead, doing inversion on both sides, we have inversion of a minus 1 equal to inversion of inversion of minus a. That is inversion of a minus 1 is equal to minus a. Now this is an important result. Please remember this formula. We will use this in our future episodes in solving some good problems. Inversion of a minus 1 is same as in minus a. That's it. This brings us to the end of this episode. Do subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. See you.